All right, so we've met up with Graham Bryant, and we were discussing religion for a while with Max, but now off the main subject again. I have some questions for you. All right. Oops, went back to the main. Oops. Why have you come? <clears throat> I was just looking for ways to help the people here. Anything need doing? A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or. Now here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. A printing press? On Monarch? Yeah. Steve. We already were there. Oh yes. Many facilities lie abandoned in the wilderness. I believe the press could be operational again with a little elbow grease and luck. Will you aid us in our cause? Sure. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... <sighs> Forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. Well, good news for you guys. I already took care of the, uh, the rafts, at least. Huxley, the runner from the Northern Ruins, I helped her get out of there. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. That girl and her songs, so eager to learn, so bright-eyed, so tone-deaf. MSI supplies you? One of our sympathizers. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Where is the supplier? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. All right, I'll be back. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. All right, their relationship is somewhat reduced, potentially. Not as happy. Ah, they at least seem to get along so far, but maybe I'll be wrong about that. What? Sorry. Long day. So where is triage? Oh, it's not a huge area. Just one more little area. Okay, cool. It's the building I almost went in first, but she wasn't going to be there. Go figure. Hi. And that's a covered body. A rioter, agitator, and a revolutionary. Is that just what they call their soldiers? Because they don't seem to be doing any of those things. Current patients. Ezekiel. Manti infested. Tried antibioticals. No effect. Alcohol poisoning. No effect. Acid drip. No effect. Current status. No longer with us. Ronnie. Fractured ankle. Left. Current status. Splinted. Reset. Recovering. Ivers. Multiple bullet wounds, chest, arm, right, leg, right. Current status, no longer bleeding out, but a couple of shells still remain. Recovery, unlikely. Milson, acid burns, face, hand left, arm left. Current status, ointments, gauze, and a lot of booze. <clears throat> That's apparently a thing, yeah, is that if you, if you have bullets in you, sometimes it's more dangerous to remove. So like if it's not life-threatening in its current- oopsie. 
If it's not life-threatening in its current position, it's often better to just leave it in there, apparently. Because the surgery itself is a risk. Sorry about earlier. Graham and I don't always see eye to eye. Besides, we just got our asses kicked in the ruins. Not a great time to yammer on about his printing press. You run the triage clinic here? Yeah. Name Zora. I've been patching up the iconoclast since day one. Whenever Graham's lack of foresight gets someone hurt, I get them back on their feet. If I can. Do people around you get injured often? You joking? It's Monarch. Can't set foot outside without being attacked by a beast or a marauder. Given the amount of patching up going on here, I'm guessing that the ruins was a catastrophe. The Manta Queen showed up out of nowhere, and I guess the gunfire attracted Raptodons. It was a damn bloodbath. You found a queen that far north? Wish I'd been there. You and me both, Nyoka. We could've used the help. Listen, unless this is urgent, I need to oversee the wounded. Talking to me is always urgent. Need any help? You want to do us a favor or two? Go talk to Bronson. He's always looking to pass his work off on someone else. For now, I gotta get to the wounded. Welcome to Amber Heights. Alright, I'll go back to looking for our missing person then. And we'll follow up as best we can. They keep hyping up how horrible Manta Queens are. It's everyone's favorite boogeyman. It's somewhat defanged by the fact that I immediately took out several of them on the way to town when I first landed, and it wasn't even particularly hard. Technically the hardest thing so far, I guess, maybe, but it's still not particularly hard. And at this point, I can just left-click anything and it pretty much just goes away. to see you again. Found your terminal. Fixed it up for you. It was her that was talking. Right. What? Oh, in Milton's place? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Me and my diary have got some catching up to do. You made it back. Damn right. Ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me. Except being locked up. How are you holding up? Well, on the way back, I twisted something in my leg, foot area. Where does my foot end and my leg begin? Wherever that is, it hurts. It's so, called an ankle. No runs for me for a little while. Time to kick back and relax. How'd you hurt your leg? Uh, <laughs> I did a dumb thing. I was trying to get away from a terror ray. Usually, you can just get a ways from their nest and they'll stop following you. But this one was really persistent. Chased me for, I don't know, forever. Scratched me up back good. I barely got away. Then I tripped over a void damn rock. A rock! Not even a slippery one. There's your iconoclast theory of chaos in action. Mister, I don't know what chaos is, but rocks ain't got theories. They're rocks. <laughs> Without the kicking, I assume. Huh? Why? Your... your leg? Oh, ha! You're funny. How long are you gonna be out of commission? Till it stops hurting, I guess. Zora says I'll be fine in a month or so. Sorry to hear that. See you around, Huxley. Nope. That, those are your kind of close theory of chaos in the action. Just like a weird smug interruption. You could simultaneously take it evident as evidence for both of your belief systems, because both of your belief systems are nonsense, mostly. It was all a plan of chaos, of a plan. Never seen you before. 
You say that like it's a problem. Not for me. Maybe for you. Come out here looking for some better life, kid. Do people actually come here? Like, willingly? Bunch of corporate types from T2 flew in last month. Paid sublight to bring them. After two weeks, all but one of them were dead. Raps, mantis, fungus, storm, and that last fella, his brain broke. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. What's your story? It's pretty simple, kid. I sit at the bar, I drink, I mind my own business. That's it. I heard some- I overheard someone saying you're the best to ask about the real monarch. Whoever said that must have been lying. Or maybe they was drunk. I don't know nothing a dozen better folk couldn't tell you. Look, you want to buy the drinks? I'll do my bit to keep you entertained. Just don't ask me to dance. Buy yourself a drink. I can't repay no kindnesses now. All right, so I reckon one of the most interesting places I've been is the hot pole. You know what that is? I can make a guess. The hottest place on Monarch is probably closest to Olympus. Exactly. This moon ain't big enough to rotate. It's locked. One side always facing Olympus, the other always facing away. Olympus might not be a star, but it throws off ass loads of heat. Monarch's hot pole is the part that's closest to the gas giant. It's in the middle of this big mountain plateau. Volcanoes so high the peaks are in space. So it's hot, it's high, and there's no air. Or not much. Nice views, though. The funny thing is, dead in the middle there's just smooth rock. Circular-like. All the dust blown away. Pale gray with hair-fine cracks all over. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was lightheaded from the O2. But I felt like I had to take off the breather for a moment, put my ear to the ground. And? I wonder now if I imagined it. Trick of the air. The heat. It was at the edge of hearing. Deep down. Far off. Irregular. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. The sound of a bird pecking out of a shell. Well, that's fucking terrifying. When there's a ground quake now, I hold my breath. Because I don't know if it's Olympus squeezing us for gravity, or wings getting stretched. Heartbreak? What happened to you here? A great many things. I'll tell you what. You want to listen to an old man ramble? There might be a job in it for you. I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Good folk. A fella named Lamont introduced me. Thing is, I ain't seen them in an age. Stands to reason they got themselves eight. Mercenaries, what they do? Mostly we protect the folk from the beasts here. If it's spat, scratched, or stung, we'd kill it for you. So long as you had the bits. We split ways around the time this twice-fucked moon got abandoned. Thing is, I got myself some fond memories. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox. And I've been thinking about seeing it found. What if they're still alive? I'll be glad for it, but I ain't stupid. This planet tends to get people killed. I just want some closure. You want mementos? What? Photographs or? Thereabouts. Can't you find them yourself? Getting on in years, kid. Eggs ain't working like they used to. 
Sulfur burns a little too long in the lungs. This joint's looking like my last home. All right. One lockbox coming right up. Appreciate it, kid. I'm marking outposts on your map. You spend a lot of time out there. Might be a good place to start. Here's a key for the door. Well, all right. Want to hear an old man talk? There's such there's a job in it for you. Sometimes this game's a little self-aware about the fact that almost all these games, the biggest reward is just hearing more people talk. Recipe list. A handwritten list of recipes. One stands out from the rest. Wrapped it on brains. Clean and boil brains. Let dry. Preferably under a spore tree. Season with sugar. AC. Not meg. And paprika. Boil and filter a ladle of taro blood. Soak brains overnight. Cook 10 to 15 minutes at a low fire. Hmm. Uh, anything interesting? This, anything interesting in this thing? Just the usual, more or less. Thirty-three armor. Mostly melee weapons. It is funny the vending machines sell weapons. Just trying to think about it logistically is kind of funny. Nope, I'm well beyond that number already. Can't read these little notes. Understood. I will keep my head down. I have a very particular goal, and it stays consistent. Yep. yep no one up here. Bronson's key will get me in. Or if I'm real careful, like. Huh? Nope. We're good. Never mind. <laughs> we were one second away from getting a gun drawn on me. Don't worry. It's cool. I stopped immediately, which means I was never doing it in the first place. I am so good at this. Yeah, are they just called rioters because they originally turned on the group? I somehow, I somehow missed this guy. Oh, there's one more door. Wait, I thought I was already in there. No, 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 no. I was thinking of the triage. And, yeah, I was thinking where the leaders were. That was a different chunk of the map. I almost walked past you. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? It's Captain Steve Buckworthy. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? You're a new face too, huh? Yeah, to Amber Heights anyway. Only got here a few weeks ago. Was living in Stellar Bay before then. But I can't tell you how great it is to finally be free of them walls. Aren't the walls up to keep everyone safe? Aren't you behind walls now? Screw safe. I've had enough of playing it safe to last me a dozen lifetimes. A body's not meant to live such a guarded life. Everybody needs a little danger and excitement. Something to live for. That's what you get outside the walls. And if you're lucky, you find a cause worth bleeding for. Oh yeah, this guy's gonna bleed out here all right. If I do, it'll have been my choice, damn it. The Iconoclast taught me that it's okay to be free to make mistakes. Yeah, but almost all of them are getting patched up or have been patched up because they've all been on the verge of death. Like, your chances of uh, going through unscathed are seemingly zero. That's a pretty strong reaction to the topic of safety. Sorry about that. It stems from some uh, family trauma. I don't want to talk about that, though. 
So free from what? Well, from the yoke of corporate tyranny. It's what all us iconoclasts strive for, with Graham at the helm. We want unfettered freedom, not the lies that MSI tries to sell in Stellar Bay. True escape from all rules and constraints. You want to know more? Listen to Graham's broadcasts. He's been tucking up a storm, working to elevate the minds of all the corporate drones in this colony. Getting them to rise up. I don't think anarchy has no rules necessarily. The premise of anarchy is instead more the idea of a flat society with no hierarchy. Not like chaos and murder and whatnot. Like that's not really what it's supposed to be. I don't really like either option as a result of that. But saying no rules is also nonsense. Like what about murder? I kind of doubt this place has no rules. You're describing pure anarchy. Rules are needed for people to coexist. See, that's what the corpse want you to think. If you think rules are needed, they can force any and all they want down your throat, and you'll just swallow it. You need to talk to Graham. He'll help you find the truth amongst the lies that are living in your brain. You seem to think that there's just a binary state between absolute corruption and complete lawlessness, and there's just not? That's just not the only two states of existence? Tucker, you're Agnes's little boy from Stellar Bay. I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? Had hoped she'd accept my decision. She made it seem like you were in danger, asked me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. You're not wrong. You really, really, really stuck it out for a very long time. And it's like impacted you. And you, I don't know why you put up with it for that long. On, on the other hand, I can kind of see where she's coming from, where it's like, I. It's a bummer that, like, it's an incredibly dangerous planet that you're basically stranded on. And you have to try to raise a child on a planet where they're almost guaranteed seemingly to get killed by something along the way. Because anything, just going outside is that dangerous. And all they have is that tiny walled off area. So I can see why she was overprotective, because she's more justified than basically anyone else ever to be so overprotective. But, uh, letting her, like, boss you around and mom you and everything when you're like over 20, over 30, and then eventually over 40. It kind of gets a bit absurd. Like, okay, I'm officially an adult now. It's time for me to start, you know, being able to make my own choices about the risks on this planet like everybody else on it. But I, I get the fear because this place is cartoonishly dangerous, or at least it seems like it's supposed to be. It hasn't been to me, but meh. Jesus Christ, that's a hell of a response. I'm getting that reward. Either you go back or I'll beat it out of her. Jesus. Running away is for cowards. You need to face her and show her you've grown up. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? You've survived outside of Stellar Bay for weeks. 
Show her the skills you've learned. <sighs> You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. It should be his own decision to be out here for the sake of actually wanting to live here with the society. Not just because he's proving something to his mom. So go deal with his shit, then make the choice if he wants to live here or there. I say not to convert her because she might not survive the journey, slash everyone here seems to be in danger, so she might be in danger of getting killed here, slash not being able to contribute the way that everyone's apparently supposed to. I don't know. I don't know how the mom would do here. And also, also like, if he does want to leave to come here, then converting her to come here also, if his plans to be separate, isn't wildly ineffective. Huxley, stay off this machine. I know your terminal's out of storage, but if you break this one, things are going to go tits up around here. Anyone else? As long as you know what you're doing, go ahead and clear wor uh, work orders out whenever you can. View work orders. Steam coming out of the roof. Description. The pipes on top of my house are going to burst. They're leaking steam. Some lot of fish fix this before they explode or the steam hurts somebody. Need engineering 55 to do it remotely. Arcing electricity at the bar. Looks like sprats chewed through the wires at the side of the bar. They're sparking up a storm. They remotely shut off the power going through the bar's side panels. Ba Boom. Completed. Haven't heard from the Rapt House. We ain't heard from the Rapt House in a while. Sent Milton over. Ain't heard from him either. Someone needs to go check it out. Reset the Rapt House communication breaker. That's all it took? That's unfortunate that they weren't good enough to just reset a breaker and now somebody maybe died. Dear Diary. Description. Ha ha. Hey Zora, I figured out how to add work orders. Dear Diary. Eat it, Hux. What? Alright. Goodbye. Medical examiner's residence, door sealed. The door to the examiner's residence above the med bay is stuck and is completely sealed. Can somebody get this thing open? Engage remote forced door lever operation. Urgency is lifted. Alright, so all that's left is the steam coming out of a roof somewhere. Vent the steam flow. Opposite side. Let's head on over. Also, maybe take a look at Huxley's computer. I knew who- I kinda knew who Huxley was, but not necessarily by name. It's funny, I saw this from behind the cliff, and I was like, I knew I was looking for steam, but I saw this and thought, oh, there must just be a geyser behind this rock. Then you jump up here. But yeah, I, I didn't have Huxley's name memorized, so I didn't realize the computer was specifically belonging to the lady I rescued earlier that was kinda quirky. Well, that was easy. Mostly just opened a computer and solved all my problems instantly, and then flipped one lever. Kind of wonder why you guys had so much trouble. Nope. She hasn't come in here and reset. Uh, she hasn't come in here and done additional diarying yet. If I hear you say survival of the fittest one more time, I'm gonna lose it. Survival's about persistence and luck. So weapon proficiency and adaptive skill play no part whatsoever in your mind. If it does, it ain't enough. I've gone and outlived the best hunters I ever knew. It is neither luck nor random chance. At times, destiny may not seem fair, but there is a reason for life events, even if that reason is not immediately obvious. Please, nature's only got one reason for death. To feed the one still standing. It's always a pretty goddamn lazy argument to, be, to go on about like, blah, 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 there's totally a plan, even for the bad things that happen. Even if I can't actually say what the plan is. It's like, wow, completely open-ended reasoning that never has to be resolved. Great. What are you buying? Hey, I fixed all your stuff. I'll be damned. Thanks for doing that. Here. Zora sets aside a bit or two for people who help out. 
Before you ask, no, it ain't pay. Just being generous to folks who do a good turn. Request list. Bronson maintains a record of strange special equipment requests beyond the normal firearms, ammunition, and medicine that the iconoclasts burn through at an alarming rate. Most of his list is crossed out, but a few items haven't yet been fulfilled. Zora. Force Melt Bright Gel. May not actually exist. Graham. Dissident Hunter 17. Huxley. Auntie Cleo Wrapped Be Gone. Also may not actually exist. Huxley, any book on terminal repair. Carl, primal glue adhesives. She hates wraps, so she just was requesting a thing that might not even exist that might that would solve her problem if it did exist. And then she's uh, it is really funny to see all these little wooden spikes for a, a defensive wall right behind the giant super defensive wall. Like if that one fell, I don't know how you how these are gonna help. Uh. Like, Huxley's just like, I don't know, Wrapped Be Gone? It'd be really nice if Wrapped Be Gone existed. Please have it. And then also, please fix my terminal. Little character moment there. Always love a semi-cartoonish split weapon. Someone just decided those looked really cool at some point. Hello, anyone in here? No? Wow. It's not even stealing. Weird. There's just a sort of encar encampment hanging out of here, full of... It's even stocked with a few things, and it's just kind of sitting here. No one... no one's here. Huh. Now we've got a lot, yeah. We've got a lot more of these now. Where is Carlotta? Just north. And another little encampment I actually haven't been to yet. That's a good chance to explore yet another place. Maybe pick up another 12 quests. You know, for funsies. Which one's the good one? Three. They really seem to have had big plans for Monarch. I kind of get the feel that it might have the most content of the entire game. It has several encampments that are all pretty dense with characters. Like, that place seemed relatively small that I was just at, but... Boy, if it didn't have way more characters than, like, the greenhouse had. Remember the greenhouse? The people I ultimately gave all the power to because the other faction was so awful. They had like 12 characters dedicated to express. Oh, I just slept on accident. I didn't mean to. I don't even know what resting- like it says it moves time forward, but I don't really know what time going forward does for me most of the time. This isn't Oblivion, where like everyone has particular schedules that I have to work around. People pretty much seem to stand around. I guess I might change the time of day. But that seems to be about it. The ruins. Is this where the big be the fight happened? Or is that just another place? Nope. Sealed. Interesting. This is like a side path that goes past the ruins. Niles? Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. And that's your not nice way. What's going on here? We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? What's wrong with the generator? 
What are you, a safety inspector? It's busted, pumping out gas. It ain't safe. You're just standing around this fence, though. Shouldn't you be fixing it? Oh, whoops. I'll get right on that, boss. Hope this ain't in my performance review. I need to get inside. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why is that now? I'm here to investigate reports of a mantis swarm infestation. Oh, of all the void damned. I ain't getting eaten alive for a couple of bits. Pack it up, crew! One of the choices was, I get it, you're here for Carlotta, I'll off her, you get the bits. It's like, Jesus Christ. Alright. Apparently she's wanted. But I just convinced them that, that this place is infested and they actually took it and they're wandering off now, which is... Kind of funny. I mean, I could have taken them, but... Loss of human life and all that. If not necessary, avoid. I did enjoy the, the bowler hat. There's a few stereotypical representations of, uh... Of, like, British gangs. I lean on that exact thing. UDL, still for safe power generation system. Warning, unauthorized access to this equipment may result in injury, death, or unemployment. The worst of all. Corrosive gas levels critical. Recommendation to open gas vents. Hmm. Easy thing to do. I might want to check with Carlotta first. Make sure I'm not making some horrible mistake. Like, whoops, press this button, Carlotta dies, or whatever. Let's be careful a little bit. It's too quiet. What are you up to out there? Hello? Relax, the sublight squad is gone. Relax. I've been cooped up in here for almost two days. Who are you anyway? I'm Steve Buckworthy. Graham sent me to collect supplies. Oh, finally! Tell Graham that this is the last run I'm doing. Sanjar's declared a stop sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. Well, that's not great news. Hi. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. Why does Sanjar ban you from working with the Iconoclasts? You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. Why have you been helping Graham? It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the Iconoclasts for doing it. Where will they get the supplies now? Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? Zora suggested extra food and medicine. I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. This way they both get something they want instead of going all in on one side. Graham gets his rollers, she gets her supplies. Seems fair. Hmm. This is not her place, so I get to just 
go in, nab whatever I want. I did it. I'm overweight. Hell, half. I think. I think I basically just got the hacking supplies I used again. Melee weapons are such shit that I can only assume it's because my strength my strength score is low and like a high strength character would get more value out of them or something and it must be showing that in live because otherwise what a bummer to spec into them you have to run all the way to your enemy get in range only to do like a mar like a fraction of the damage you would do if you just shot people admittedly it's kind of what you would expect a gun to be like Compared to a melee weapon, but still. We made it that far, I figure we'll follow up on the situation. Well, let's talk to Sanjar too. But also the, the mom. There you are. Do you move right back in? Because you look like you moved right back in. Oh, Captain, you did it! My little boy is back safe and sound! Tell the Captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? Your son's a grown man. It's time you started treating him like one. What a sour thing to say. My little boy will always need me. I'm his mama, you know. Mama, what I need is for you to listen to what I want for once. But that's between us. Now you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me are gonna have a long talk. Here, kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my Tuk Tuk home safe again. Good luck to you both. Just leveling up left and right. I feel a little bad. It's all that saving for such a minor thing and she's not even gonna get to keep him if he can stick it out. You should know you're getting excellent reviews from across the company. What can I do for you? Then it's good that I keep... So you used to work with Graham. Why not mention that earlier? Ah, so you've heard about our prior... acquaintance. No sense being coy about it. We're partners now, aren't we? I suppose you're right. Graham's always had a way with words. Strange as it may seem, I suspect he'd have quite the corporate career if he weren't so radical. Graham seemed like a reasonable man years ago. and We both agreed that MSI's treatment of its workers was untenable. I thought reforms would be enough. I didn't realize you wanted to abolish the corporate system entirely. What can I do for you? 
And that's the end of that. Just kind of peters out a little bit. Got more points to invest, though. When a human cowers, you gain 25% armor for 10 seconds. I have to spend four levels of levels on it, though, but still, neat. Hmm. Increased plasma and shock damage. Which is what I'm doing now, so it makes sense to invest a bit. No perks this time. Does it go up on that viewer? I should have I should have paid closer attention to what number it was at before. And then we just warp right back to Graham. The Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. Who are the Van Noys? They're hunters. Badass ones at that. Hope they're all right. They're our best unit, and now they're missing in action. And we'll continue that discussion later. I got your rollers. The rest of your account went to food and medicine. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? She isn't. Sanjar has declared a stop sale on goods the Iconoclast. That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanjar, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. Let me ask you something about spreading the truth. Yes? What exactly are you going to put in these magazines? A subtle lesson here, a word about the eternal there. In small ways, I hope to bend the public's mind towards seeing the truth. Even if we clean up the press, how will you get the magazines to Terra too? Our very resourceful sublight friends have already agreed to help. For their standard fee, of course. They'll replace periodicals around the colony with our subtly edited versions. The board's workers will learn of our truth without even realizing it. Why go through all this trouble? What are you trying to accomplish? The corporations have been shackling workers' souls for centuries. Workers are glorified slaves to their companies, to their society, to their own minds. Free will has all but vanished. I believe that by freeing oneself from the corporate structure, indeed from the very rules of man, one can find their own truth. Their own truth. There is only one truth. Free will is nothing but an illusion that drives man to struggle against his preordained path. The cosmos will someday come to understand itself. 
We can only assist with our own truth-seeking and hope that by our myriad tiny contributions, we can help usher that day forth. Right. Back to the mission. Certainly. Time to fix up the printing press, then? The print... Oh, no. Graham, you didn't. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Van Oys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The hell's the sense in recruiting if you're just gonna get them killed? I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. You could have sent them after backing up Zora, right? Yes! You're damn right he could have, but he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Van Noys are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. I'll do everything I can. Okay... I can see where this is going, probably. We're probably gonna have the choice to either... Uh, save the printing press or save the, uh, Van Noys. I think that's- I think that's where we're going with this. We've already been to the printing press, so it should already be clear. I guess I have already covered most of the objectives. Eh, Terra 1 publications. We even have a fast travel location exactly to there. Gonna have some fast forward story for a bit here, huh? What was that? Oh. Hey Van Noyes, how you guys doing? The twins surprised you, surprised you two needed backup. Here we go. Get him! Ba -do 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 -do. That's how we fucking do it. <laughs> That's how we fucking do it. It is pretty awkward though that I've already been here and I already cleared this entire place out and I already went inside and now they're like, ah, the Van Noys, yes. It's the somewhat unfortunate part of where, uh, where open world meets linear quest sequences. I've had quite enough of you. Boom. Look at him go. Oh, here it comes. Got him. Wow, look at him go. I think he was right in the middle of some big charge attack, so he flew through me at like an astonishing speed. You got a little set? You guys regroup? I thought I saw a couple of them in the middle of this courtyard, but I don't see them now. Like a couple of them are wounded. Talk to me. Nioka, you're a sight right now, I'll tell you what. We are up a creek. I bet. You really come this far north for a printing press? Yeah, I know, I know, but that's the mission. Don't suppose y'all are busy right now.
Zora sent me to look for you guys. Once I get you out safe, I'll see you about the press. Thank the Eternal. We could use a hand. But we can't leave without patching these guys up. Acker here is bleeding out and Jensen can't see straight. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. Any idea where he went? Yeah, on account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. Got it. I'll see if I can find him. Hit. 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 <laughs> I just couldn't get up. Uh, they're pretty chill about the whole bleeding out part. <laughs>